I am Anil Kumar sharing with you some interesting question on pair of lines. The question here is, find the equation of the locus of points which moves so that its distance from the line y equals to 2x minus 3 and x plus 2y equals to 5 is same. So one, let's begin by the standard form of the equation ax plus by plus c equals to 0. If I have to find distance from a point P, let's say x1, y1, to this line, then the formula is distance is equals to absolute value. Distance is always positive. ax1 plus by1 plus c divided by square root of a square plus b square. So that gives you the distance. Now the question here is, let us sketch these lines and understand the question also. So we have y equals to 2x minus 3. So let, let's sketch this line. The other line, let me write the other line in slope intercept form also. So it's easy to obviously sketch with y, x and y intercept, no problems. So here, x intercept is 5. And, uh, okay, so x intercept is 5. Let's say this is 5. We are sketching the line x plus 2y equals to 5. And the y intercept is 2.5. So, 2.5. So, that gives you a line which is kind of like this. Oops. Okay, it doesn't matter now. We'll mark this as, uh, as 5. And this is 2.5 for us. So that is the line x plus 2y equals to 5. Here we have 2x minus 3, so y intercept is minus 3, minus 3, and the slope is 2. If I write y equals to 0, I get 3 over 2, 1.5, let us say, so it goes something like this. Okay. So that is my line with y intercept of minus 3. So let's call, uh, okay, we'll name these lines. So line 1 is y equals to 2x minus 3. I could write this as 2x minus y minus 3 equals to 0. Line 2 is x plus 2y minus 5 equals to 0. So these are the two lines. They are in the standard form. Let's consider general point x, y. We want locus of points which move so that its distance from these lines is same. Means equal, right? So it could be along this path or could be along this path. Something like this. Do you see that? So those will be common points. So either of these two. So we may get two solutions. We should get two solutions, right? So let us assume that there is a point here, <coughs> P. This point is same distance away from both. That means these two distances are equal. And let's say the coordinates are x, y for the point. If the coordinates are x, y, then the distance from this line will be x, y are the coordinates. So in this equation, we'll substitute x, y. So it remains kind of same. That's the formula, right? Square root of a square, which is 2 square, plus minus 1 square, square root. Absolutely equals to, for this point, it will be x plus 2y minus 5 divided by square root of 1 square plus 2 square. Now 2 square is 4, 1 square is 1, so 4 plus 1, 5. So we get here 2x minus y, I mean, minus 3 over square root of 5 equals 2 x plus 2y minus 5 over square root of 5. So square root of 5, square root of 5 cancels. So when we say absolute values, 
then they could be plus or minus, right? So even negative will be treated as positive from because the absolute. So we actually get here two equations. So let's rewrite these equations. The first one here is 2x minus y minus 3 equals 2. If we take positive, we get x plus 2y minus 5. And if I take negative, we get 2x minus y minus 3 equals 2. Negative of x plus 2y minus 5. Let's solve them taking these terms to the left. So we are solving these two equations now. 2x minus x minus y minus 2y we have minus 3 plus 5 equals to 0. Combine the like terms. 2x minus x is x minus y minus 2y is minus 3y that gives me plus 2 equals to 0. So that becomes one equation. The other one is when you bring these terms, that negative becomes positive, so we just copy them as such. We have 2x minus y minus 3, and we have plus x plus 2y minus 5 equals to 0. 2x plus x is 3x, minus y plus 2y is plus y, minus 3 minus 5 is 8 minus. So that is the second equation. So these are the two equations which represent loci of points equidistant from pair of lines. Do you see that? So that is how we can actually solve such a question, right? So if you rearrange, you get 8 as the y-intercept here. And in this case, it is, yeah, so, so kind of 2, right? So that seems to be 2 and that seems to be 8, correct? So you could, if you do it on a graph paper, you'll easily get this line. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions. This question is also from one of our subscribers and I hope you appreciate the solution. Thank you and all the best.